Welcome to another exciting video in my Intro to HTML web video series. In this video, I'm going to expand on the idea of position that we talked about in the last video. In the last video, I just introduced absolute and relative positioning and showed you how they worked. In this video, I want to show you a practical application of absolute positioning. What you see on my screen right now is a basic two column layout that has a header with a background image. Actually, this is not a background image, a header with an image. It's got uh, navigation with a uh, list that's been set to horizontal and a bunch of links in that list. It's got a left and right column, which would be called main and sidebar. And then it's got a footer with an image in it. And then down below the image in the footer, I've got a list of links. What I want to do is move this list of links in the footer to be over the top, laying up over the image. So it looks like it's part of that image. And then I want to move this navigation up so it looks like it's in the header and shift it over so it's not over my uh, so it's not over my logo. In order to do this, we need to use absolute positioning. So first off, let's get started. When we want to absolute position something, what we need to think about first is setting the position of the parent element. To relative. Now we've talked about these the, this parent-child relationship before. If we look at the structure of my web page, I have this thing called a wrapper. It's a div with an ID called wrapper, and it wraps up the entire web page. Okay, it wraps up all of my content from above the header to below the footer. Every single element that's nested inside of wrapper would be considered a descendant of wrapper. Header is a child of wrapper. H1 is a grandchild of wrapper because H1 is nested inside of header. Header is nested inside of wrapper. Image here that's inside of H1. Image is a child of H1. Image is a grandchild of header. Image is the great giant grandchild of wrapper. So why is this important? Well, wrapper is, is our uh, descendant element here. And as I said, if I wanted to do some absolute positioning, if I wanted to position my nav absolutely, I need to set its parent element to position relative. So nav is the child of wrapper, so I need to set the id wrapper style rule to position relative. So let's go up to wrapper and go position relative. Save it, refresh it in the browser. See the change? I didn't think so. There's no change. When I set the wrapper to position relative, nothing changed. Now, if I wanted to, I could position this relative to its normal position. I could move it left, right, up, down. I could do whatever I want with it, but I'm not going to do anything with it. All we need to do is set it to relative. This will allow my absolute positioning to work correctly in the child elements. So wrapper, position relative. Now I want to go up to nav and I want to position that absolutely. As you may recall, absolute positioning allows me to position something based on the uh, uh, position in the browser. So let's do this. Position absolute. And I'm going to set it top zero just so you can see what happens. And left zero. Save it. See where my nav is right now? It's right here. It should scoot all the way up to the top left. See that? It scoots all the way up to the top left of its parent element. Now, this isn't where I want to put it. I actually want to move it over this way a little bit more. So let's try something here. I'm going to shove it over to 325 pixels from the left. So I'm going to go left 325, and I'm going to go down um, 120. 
Let's see how that works. So top, 120, left, 325. And see how that shoves it over. OK, that's roughly in the right spot. But you may say, hey, that doesn't look right. These links are starting to stack up. It's not taking up the full space. That doesn't look very good. And I would agree with you. So I need to make some changes here. Um, when I absolutely position, it changes the, um, the way that this floated set of links behaves. I need to make this wider. So I'm going to set the width of my nav to 100%. Save it. Refresh it. Okay, great. Now, it's absolutely positioned. It's 100% wide, but, oh man, it's shooting out the edge of my wrapper. That's not cool at all. I really don't like that. I need to make some changes to make sure it's not shooting out the side of my wrapper and just destroying my beautiful layout. You might ask, how do you do that? Well, there's this really cool property called overflow. It allows us to control what happens with content when it flows outside of its containing element. In this case, the containing element of nav is our wrapper. Okay, so I'm going to go to wrapper and deal with the overflow property. Overflow, and I'm going to set it to hidden. What that's going to do is anything that shoots outside of the wrapper will get hidden. It'll just get chopped off. So watch this. Gone. So that chunk that was shooting out the side, it is gone. It's hidden. We can't see it anymore. So we've taken care of that problem. We've positioned